Hello again, my friends. I'm happy to bring you another Silver Senior Silver Screen special biography on an old classic Hollywood black and white movie, Key Largo. But before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. If you haven't already seen this movie and love the old time classics like I do, I highly recommend it. And this is Pancake. Thank you for joining us for another video. And if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. And just in case you haven't seen it, please know there will be some spoilers in this video. I love doing bios on old classic movies, so if you enjoy this video and would like to see more similar to this one, please comment below or let me know which one is your favorite or which one you'd like me to do a bio on, and I'll try my best to do it. Also, please watch this video to the end to see some really cool behind-the-scenes photos, some that you've probably never seen before. And I'm also including some interesting facts and trivia, too. And so without further ado, through the magic of my computer, I've colorized some of the old black and white pictures from some of my favorite scenes, and hopefully some of yours, too, from this movie, which I find that you can see more details in them. Please let me know what you think. This movie is an action, crime, film, noir, thriller, and drama. It was released in the USA in 1948, and it stars Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, and Edward G. Robinson. And some of their co-stars were Lionel Barrymore, Claire Trevor, and others. It was directed by John Huston, written by Richard Brooks and produced by Warner Brothers. This movie won one Oscar and it was won by Claire Trevor for Best Supporting Actress. Some of the opening scenes were filmed on location at Key Largo, Florida, and the rest on the Warner Brothers lot. This movie is about a man who visits his war buddy's family hotel and finds a gangster running things. And as a hurricane approaches, the two of them end up confronting each other. Now I've got some juicy trivia tidbits for you. When this movie first opened as a play some years earlier, it was premiered at the Ethel Barrymore Theater. Ethel was Lionel's younger sister. And although they played on-screen enemies, off-screen Humphrey Bogart and Edward G. Robinson treated each other with great respect. Bogart insisted Robinson be treated like a major star and he would not come out to the set until Robinson was ready. Often, he would go to Robinson's trailer to personally escort him to the set. Lionel Barrymore was severely disabled by arthritis, which was clearly visible in his hands, and he was confined to a wheelchair. So making the scene in which his Mr. Temple character gets up and falls, taking a swing at toots, is more than a dramatic moment. The character of Johnny Rocco was modeled on Al Capone, who retired to Florida and died there of complications due to advanced syphilis a year before this film was produced. Screenwriter Richard Brooks later revealed he had also incorporated biographical details about another famous gangster, Lucky Luciano into Rocco's character as well. And also, the character of 
Gay Dawn, played by Claire Trevor, was based on real-life Amal Gay Orlova, gangster Lucky Luciano's girlfriend, believed at that time to have been executed by a German firing squad. Orlova survived, however, and was known to be living in Paris as late as 1954, trying to join Luciano in Italy. Felipa Gomez, who played the old Indian woman, was born just five years after the U.S. Civil War ended. This was the fifth and final movie that Humphrey Bogart appeared in with Edward G. Robinson. The previous films were Bullets or Ballots in 1936, Kid Galahad in 1937, The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse in 1938, and Brother Orchid in 1940. In the five films Robinson and Bogart appeared in together, Robinson killed Bogart once, Bogart killed Robinson once, and they killed each other twice. John Huston originally wanted Charles Boyer for the role played by Edward G. Robinson, but Jack Warner thought Boyer was box office poison. <laughs> The scene with Claire Trevor drunkenly singing, moaning low, was inspired by a true life event from World War II when Humphrey Bogart was entertaining U.S. troops stationed in Italy. His wife at the time, actress Mayo Method, insisted on doing an impromptu song number though quite visibly intoxicated and despite being cautioned, stammering over forgotten lyrics and singing steadily off-key, she gave a winged performance that was a memorable embarrassment. At one point in the movie, Romanian-born Edward G. Robinson's character Johnny Rocco angrily says, after living in the USA for more than 30 years, they call me an undesirable and want to throw me out of the country, like I was a dirty red or something. A year after this film, he was investigated by the Committee on Un-American Activities, which claimed the progressive Democrat was frequently involved in communist fronts and causes. Robinson eventually testified as a friendly witness, but he was still gray-listed in the 1950s. Robinson also owned a copy of Leon Trotsky's autobiography, My Life, that the famed exile had autographed for him. And although Lionel Barrymore's character defends Franklin Roosevelt, the actor actually hated the president and had to grit his teeth to get the words out. When Lauren Bacall had problems playing her straight leading lady role, John Houston twisted her arm to get some emotion into her face. Ouch. Wow. Poor girl. And in case you didn't recognize him, Jay Silverheels Television's Tonto from The Lone Ranger, played in 1949 through 1957, series appears as Tom Osceola in this movie. If you like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.